Hey there guys, some Midian here, and welcome back to Earthbound. We are very low on health, so let's go to Hotel Tucson. Stay for $50. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me! Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me! So we gotta go save Paula, who is going to become a human sacrifice. And nobody else seems to care, because... I don't know. Last time, we got our first game over, donated some money to both Apple and Orange Kid. Um, neither of those have panned out so far. P -p paula where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie! Okay, so maybe Paula's parents do care. Hey, a magic butterfly. That's not very useful right now, since I am now at full health and BP. Ow. Got hit by a truck. So let's go see... what Paula's dad's talking about. Maybe he knows stuff now. That is an actual lake. And not just a puddle that you can walk through. P -p paul is not home yet! Ever dread burgling park might know something! Oh boy, now I'm really worried. I already talked to Everdread. He told me that Paula is going to be a human sacrifice. So let's continue exploring. There's nobody in here, and I don't want to buy a pizza. Even though pizza does sound really good right now. My inventory is so full of random crap. Look at all this random crap! I don't... I can't... I can't deal with all this random crap! I'm thinking about catching a bus to three. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. the bus, or not to take the bus. Hmm. I get scared pretty easily. That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, Chubbs. Who are you calling Chubbs? Why don't you check out your town map and learn about this area? I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. Ha! Ah, marriage jokes. This town's bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop signs. Wonder who came up with this system. Well, I don't feel like dealing with a bus right now. I gotta go save Paula. Hello, little girl. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. A peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. And this is normal? I guess? Let's check this sign. Happy Happy Village Ahead. Well, that's where we need to go. I heard that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. Why does nobody seem to care about that? They're all just so nonchalant. Oh yeah, a little girl was kidnapped. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's not going to become a human sacrifice or anything. Anyways, on to this cave. What does this say? Peaceful Rest Valley ahead. Proceed through cave. Welp, I must obey the sign. Oh no, enemies. Well, should be easy enough to beat. Oh, don't you fucking... God damn it. Lowering my PP like a jerk. I may have to go back and heal my PP at some point. Hum de dum dum dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. Oh no, it's a UFO. It's a little UFO. Look how cute it is! I'm gonna break it. Well, at least it doesn't do a ton of damage. It's so cute. 
must destroy it. I am not an enemy, I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know about how to survive battles? Sure. You may have noticed that when you have been badly hurt in battle, you may survive a mortal attack and still have 1 HP. If this has happened, it was because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts level. Also, more guts helps you get more SMASHING hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time for damage to be taken from you. This is because of the rolling action of your HP meter. Oops, I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is all I know. The rolling HP counter is actually a pretty interesting, uh... thing. That is in this game. Cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. Well, the bridge is broken. Can't cross the bridge. So I gotta keep going north. This game had some pretty clever ideas for an SNES game that even modern RPGs haven't done. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Well, that sucks. Nothing we can do, I guess. Time to go back to town. Guess we're not saving Paula. Perhaps we should be going to Threed? Maybe helping out the Runaway Five? Who knows? All I know is that we can't save Paula. How unfortunate. Ooh, a magic butterfly. I should have healed first before I touched this. Whoops. Oh well. Too late for regrets. Oh no, enemies. Oh fuck, it's a mushroom. Maybe I will rock and deal with these guys quickly. Stop using magnets, rude. Wow, that didn't kill the sprout. Stop doing that. Whatever. Who needs PP pee -pee anyways? I can just get that magic mushroom on there, or the magic butterfly on the way back. Or, I mean, I'm not going back this way. Hello? This is the Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Beep. I hope you could hear that. I just kind of punched my desk to simulate a slam. Hurt my hand. Better have been able to hear that. Probably weren't able to hear that. I don't want to deal with these mushrooms. You can put a mushroom on my head and it's not very nice. I'm dangerously low on PP. Ooh, a ketchup packet. Nice. Yay, Paralysis Alpha. Unlike in most RPGs, where status effects are usually pretty useless, in this game, status effects are still kind of bad. They do occasionally have uses, though. Are you looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I tell you that he's in Burgling Park, looking for you. Well, thanks for the help, Orange Kid. Your device was useless to me. Apple Kid's in Berglund Park. Where is he? Why is he in Berglund Park? There he is. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. I got the plot device! Hooray! The pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Okay. Thanks for the help, Apple Kid. So now we can eradicate pencil-shaped statues with our pencil eraser. That's not strange. What are you talking about? So let's go back. Try to get a uh, magic butterfly. And continue onward to rescuing Paula. Magic butterfly right here. 
I'll get that after this fight. Why must you attack me, Mobile Sprout? I just want to defeat you. And get the magic butterfly. Let's spend all of our PP on life up. Then get the magic butterfly to restore our PP. Yay, PP. Wonder how many times I can say PP before it starts becoming silly. I probably already passed that mark. But don't worry, there are still many PP jokes able to be made. No magic butterfly. How unfortunate, but that's fine. Oh, that didn't restore my PP to full, it only gave me 20 PP. Maybe I should look for a magic butterfly in here for a while. Is that worth it? It's probably worth it. I don't think I want to waste a lot of time just reloading this area, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care enough. I'll be fine. I got most of my PP. And I got a ketchup packet. What could... Fuck you! And I've got a ketchup packet. What could go wrong? These mobile sprouts are really annoying with their PSI magnet. Why can't they just attack me like normal enemies and I heal it and everything's fine, but no, they've got to be rude. Oh man, I got a cold. Can I, like, cure that? I think I sold my cold medicine because I was out of inventory space. I do have PSI healing. Yeah, that cures a cold, but I didn't really want to waste my PP on that. Ah, uh, everything's going wrong. Let's use the pencil eraser. The magic of science. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Hooray, now we can continue onward. I think there's something up here. Ah, yes. Picture is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. So yeah, we got a photograph taken by the weird guy that floats in from the sky. That tree does not look like a real tree. Let's beat up a tree. Look at that face, it's so happy. Didn't work. All right. Oh man, lowered my offense and my defense. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. And when they die, they burst into flames and deal a ton of damage to you, but... That doesn't really matter, because they die instantly. Oh nice, a magic butterfly. I could really use that right about now. Get some PP restoration. Alright. Another little UFO. And I'm gonna beat up. Soon we will get a new party member. And by soon, I mean... Probably in a couple of episodes, but... Don't you worry. It's soon enough. Travel charm, you say? Now 
Now I can't be paralyzed. Hooray. I think there's an item down here that I missed. Getting caught on walls. I don't really remember this area too well. Okay, there's an item over here. Yeah, here it is. Ah, you got too much crap. Um, let's eat this ketchup. A luck capsule. This permanently increases my luck, right? Yep. Permanent luck increase. Always helpful. And what is this thing? A spinning robo. Man. Let's get a shield. This thing might be tough to crack. Man, I got a cold again. I'm gonna have to cure that. So cold is basically this game's poison. You take damage every turn while you have it. LOL 69, etc. Healing. It's life up. Ness's HP are maxed out. And is there another item up here anywhere? No, just the travel charm that I already got. I'd like to avoid fighting this tree if possible because it always does that burst into flames attack when you kill it. Try to walk off the screen and despawn it. And that burst into flames attack does a lot of damage. There are a lot of enemies over here. I may need to PSI Rockin if I fight more than a few of them at once. <sighs> Fuck off with the frickin' PSI Magnet. <sighs> So much for PSI rocking. Don't have enough for it anymore. There is a magic butterfly below. That guy came out from nowhere! Really? The little UFO will be easier to kill, so I'm gonna kill it first. Then focus on the spinning robo. Oh my god. I might die. I have to life up. That magic butterfly is just in the nick of time. I'm gonna need it to cure my cold and to heal up again. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now I'm level 15, yay! And I got more PP. Let's take this magic butterfly before talking to this dude on the bridge. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Crud. I don't know, man. Ah! These things are fast. But now I'm higher level. Oh, fuck off with the colds, man. I'm higher level now, so I should be doing more damage with my offense increase. Or I can just miss a lot. Nice luck increase, causing me to uh, hit all my attacks. I might not make it to the Happy Happy Village. That would be unfortunate. This is HPR maxed out. Ekra Salt! Yes! Much healing item! Ho ho ho! That was a terrible attempt at a French accent. 
I feel bad. Please don't give me a cold. I would rather not have to cure it. I even said please. I wonder if cold affects your chance to hit. I honestly don't remember. This is the way I'm supposed to be going. So obviously I don't want to go this way. RPG logic! I'm gonna go the opposite direction first to see if there's any items. And there, in fact, are items. In order to get this, I'm gonna have to get rid of an item in my inventory, which means I'm gonna eat my croissant! A bomb! Oh boy. I can blow stuff up. Bomb. Damages an enemy when used during battle. Because of its explosive power, it may affect others besides the target creature. Gone after one use. My inventory is so full of shit. Look at all this shit. I shouldn't have gotten the bicycle. That was, like, terrible. I don't... Ah, there's so many enemies! Please don't give me a cold. Wow. I got really lucky on that fight. Good job, me. You RNG'd it up. I should try despawning these guys. Too many, too many things. I need to try to avoid massive amounts of encounters. There's too many things here that want to kill me. my inventory have to be so full of shit. I, like, I'm gonna have to use this bomb on, like, this fight. Oh, good, there's, there's a tree here. I have to kill the tree last, because it'll do its flame thing, and if it's not the last thing I kill... Then I will just die from its flame attack. Burst in the flames, mash the button as fast as possible. Don't take a ton of damage, good job. Oh my god, so many trees. No, too many trees! These aren't trees, that's fine. These things are so annoying with their freaking magnets. Freaking magnets, how do they work? Oh my gosh, I... I do not like what is currently happening to me. Ness does not have any PP. Fuck, I really need a magic butterfly, but I don't know where the nearest one is. Let's avoid the trees. Oh no, there's a UFO! I somehow got a got a preemptive attack. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I'll take it. Oh my god, why, why, why dodge? Why? Why did I miss so many times in a row? Well, fuck. Oh 
Well, let's take all of our money, heal up at the hotel, and then save and end the video. Then next time we'll make our way back through Peaceful Rest Valley, which isn't very peaceful or restful. It's got fucking robots and UFOs and giant sentient trees and shit. So much for being a peaceful valley. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.